Brother Wes. This is Brother Wes. This is Prophet Wes. Uh, with uh, one more word. I got one more word. I got one more word. This is a direct word. This is a um, word of knowledge. Um, also, this is uh, prophetic for someone, for someone. And what it is is that you're in a storm. You're in a storm. You're in a storm. And uh, you're panicking. You're panicking. And you, you've been, you've been, you've been needing God to. You've been asking God to, uh, to do it. There's these two words that dropped into my spirit as a direct word that I want to speak to you. The two words, prophetically, prophetically, directly, that I want to speak to you. And I want to speak this into your spirit. These words are going to go into your spirit. These words, and and Jesus is speaking these words. He's speaking these words, and and these words, and these words. These two these two words is one word is dead, and the other word is calm. One word is dead, and the other word is calm. If you look in the Bible in Matthew, the um, eighth, eighth or ninth chapter in the twenty third verse, when Jesus had after he was teaching. He had got on his boat and he had told his disciples to let's go to the other side. And they should have called it right there. He was saying, let's go to the other side. So what he was letting them know that we was going to get there. We, not just them, but we. But when he said we, he went to the bottom and went to sleep. But when he said we and went to the bottom and went to sleep, that's when the storm arose and boisterous. He was sleeping. And they were afraid. They were afraid. They were afraid and they woke him up. They woke him up. They woke him up. And when he got up, he spoke to the storm. You remember the word dead and calm? Dead and calm. Dead is something that's still. Calm is something that's still. And so what Jesus was speaking um, to that storm was he was speaking peace speaking peace peace and so because the peace that many of you have is noisy the peace the peace that you that, that, that's been talking to you the peace that you're living in because sometimes being silent can be noisy because late at night midnight hour midnight hour and see, in the midnight hour, and, and some of you, you're in your midnight hour. And a midnight hour is the darkest. It can get the darkest. Get the twilight. You're at the twilight of the night. You're at the darkest place. 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 But at your twilight, the Bible says, we and may endure for a night. A night. At the twilight. But just a minute just a second some of you just a second away from your breakthrough you just a second away from your deliverance just one second just one second for things to open up just one second for the revelation to be revealed just one second for the curse to be broken just one second for the understanding for you to gather the understanding some of you you are you're numb and you're paralyzed in your place way in how's it going all right, we're in, uh, you're in a situation and you need a move of God and uh, you're between a situation, you're in a holding pattern and you need God to move, you need God to move and God is going to move, God is going to move and what you must do is just be still, be still because what's happened, I'll tell you what's happened, what's happened is uh, you, you, you've woke up your purpose, you've woke up your healing, you've woke up Jesus, you woke up your voice. You woke up your anointing. You woke up your authority. You woke up. You woke him up. You woke him up. You woke up that power. You woke up that breakthrough. You woke up that sleeper giant. That giant was asleep. He was asleep. But now he's awakened. He's awakened. He's awakened. He's awakened. He's arisen. He's arisen. That power. That fire. That anointing has been awakened. It's been awakened. God bless you.